everyone. Welcome to Shell Sugar Rush. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be putting together this beautiful Mother's Day treat box with a breakable heart and some cake filled hearts. So if you enjoy things like this or you're just looking for a little Mother's Day inspiration, stick around and watch me put it together. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos in the future. So let's get into it. So I've got a few different molds here that I'm going to be using today, but I'm going to start with our breakable heart, of course. Um, and I just have a cutting board, just something nice and flat and hard to sit this on uh, when I pop it in the freezer. So I'm just going to place a piece of parchment paper on there and go ahead and put some chocolate. And I'm just using some white almond bark today because I'm going to be decorating this in pink accent. So um, I haven't thinned it with anything. Um, you know, I want it to be fairly thick uh, just so it'll give our heart a good coat. So I'm just going to put a good amount in the bottom here. And just going to move it all around and make sure we've got it all over our heart. Just want to move it up the sides and get a nice good coating everywhere. Okay, and we've got a pretty good coating there. So I'm just going to flip that over and pop this in the freezer for about five minutes. Now while that's chilling, we're going to go ahead and make our letters for our heart. so they can set up and then I'm gonna do some little flowers okay so our breakable heart is out of the freezer it's been in there maybe about 10 minutes so we're gonna just flip it over here and see how it looks and it looks pretty good see even though you know if you if you let it set upside down you don't get that real big pool of thickness on the chocolate in the center. Um, it kind of comes down the sides a little more even. And you know, you see a little few pieces here where it came down pretty thick, um, but that's okay. That's not gonna get in the way of what we're doing. So anyway, I'm going to go around with uh, my brush and just reinforce the sides and we'll pop it back in and let it set some more and work on our cake parts. All right, now we'll pop it back in the fridge and let our reinforcement set. Now for our cake hearts, um, usually I use the mold that's just like the big mold, um, but I do have the three part mold that I got in recently. So we're gonna be trying this one today and see how it does in comparison to the um, silicone molds. Okay, so for this, I think I um, have to fill it about a third of the way. So this is going to be trial and error, guys. It doesn't seem to be coming out, so Except for this little one here so I think it did pretty good as far as the amounts in there okay so I'm gonna pop this one in the freezer for a few minutes and let it get set and we'll see how it does okay guys so here's our breakable heart ready and reinforced so now we're going to just attempt to remove it and I'm gonna start with the edges and just very carefully pull it away from the edges. This is just 
the best way to do it. You can see this side is a, is a bit soft, but it just takes a little patience with this um, to get it out of there without cracking. And there we go, our heart is out. Okay, and we're gonna set this aside and work on our little cake hearts. So our cake hearts are chilled. These are a little big, so they kind of get in the way. They're a little more aggravating than they are helpful, but it's okay. We gotta work with some cake, so I'm gonna put one of those on. Okay, so. So let's see how it came out. Okay, now we'll put some cake in here. And I'm just using a confetti cake that I have left over. Got confetti sprinkles in it. This is a cake dough that I made out of leftover cake. If you guys saw my video, Superhero Cake, um, I used a confetti cake for that. So, let's see, probably don't need too much. That might be too much. Move that out of the way so you all can see. We want to keep our edge clear of the cake so we can fill in the top with chocolate and it um, seals our sides real well. Now if you guys need some more Mother's Day gift ideas, um, make sure you check out my friend Sally's channel. She has a fabulous video on there of a Mother's Day basket that she put together that is pretty neat. Um, I'll make sure and link that um, under the video for you guys. But yeah, make sure you go check out her uh, Mother's Day ideas video. So there we go, see? Nice, beautiful bags. All right, so we're gonna let these set and then we'll come back and decorate our hearts. Okay, so there's our cake hearts, and now we're going to get back to our breakable heart. Okay guys, so our breakable heart is ready. Our cake hearts are ready. So now we're gonna package this up real pretty. So for before we package our heart, um, I am gonna dust the treats with some 
used uh, light pink diamond dust from Sugar Art. Um, I had this for a little while and I've been just anxious to use it and see how I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Very pretty. Let me know what you guys think about the diamond dust in the comments. Okay, so I've got four little cupcake holders here, and this is going to be for the cake hearts. Just like to have them sitting in something. Um, okay, and here I have just a, a regular 10 by 10 pie box with a clear top. Okay. And I've put some pink shredded paper down in here. And so what I'm gonna do is take some candy and put in the middle. Got some candy ready. And this is just an assortment of some Ghirardelli um, special flavors, raspberry and strawberry. And then some Lindor. Um, strawberries and cream pieces as well. So I'm going to put this up under the heart and you can put anything up under this heart. Um, yeah, I've seen people put jewelry, money, you know, whatever you want to give for that special day. So just gonna carefully put this up up here and center it there. Cards just right in each corner. And I have a mallet. Let's see where it went. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So I have a little mallet here and I just put a little piece of tulle around it and made a bow. Um, if you've seen my other videos like this before, you know I'm a fan of tulle because it, it's pretty, it's light, but it's also stretchy. So I've just got a mallet and I wrapped the tulle around there to make a bow. And I'm just going to, let's see, the best placement for this, I'll put it up top. I think that works well right between the two. So, there you go. And I'm going to close this up. And show you what I do here to kind of finish it off. Now, um, again, like I said, I am a fan of tool. So, I had two different colors of pink. And I'll show you here. I had a light pink and a dark pink. And I really couldn't decide which one to use because... The light pink is a bit light for this, and the dark pink is a bit darker than what I made my color. So, what I decided to do is take both colors and put them together. So, I'm going to kind of just twist this together. And I'm going to go across the bottom corner first the bottom right corner and I'm going to go up under each side and meet back up here on this top left corner. So sometimes you just have to adjust, adjust it to make sure you've got it even. And spread that out just a bit. Okay, and here I'm just going to tie this and make a bow. Kind of pull it till it till it looks like it's even, and then you can just take the tool and spread it out. And actually, I love the two colors together because it gives us a pretty full bow. So let me know what you think about that. Okay, so now that our box is finished, make sure you let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. 
And if you enjoyed the tutorial on it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you'll be notified when I upload more videos like this. Thank you for your support. See you next time.